Hi, I'm Brad Smith from Beersmith.com, and I'd like to welcome you to my tutorial on how to add custom ingredients to Beersmith 2. Beersmith comes with a large set of brewing ingredients, including extracts, grains, hops, yeast, and miscellaneous ingredients. We also have a new add-ons button, shown here, that allows you to download add-ons from the internet. So before you go entering a bunch of ingredients, you might want to take a look at all the add-ons available, including our hop and yeast updates that are done yearly. Closing that up though, occasionally you may need to find or use an ingredient that's not already in the database. So for example, we're going to add a rare hop named Saxon to the hop table. You can add other types of ingredients using the same method, but you start from the grain or yeast or misc views instead. We're going to start by going to the ingredient menu, ingredient view, and click on hops, which will show all of the hops in our database. We're going to create a new hops by clicking on the add hop button at the top of the toolbar. Now all we have to do is fill in the data for this particular variety of hops. In this case, we're going to enter the name of the hops, which is Saxon. And we're going to add it its, uh, its origin, which is United Kingdom. Um, we're going to skip the inventory and the price. Go down and enter the alpha acid percentage, which is 7%. And the beta, which happens to be 4%. And uh, next we're going to enter the Hop Stability Index, which if you know it, is, uh, is the percentage of hops alpha acid that's lost in six months. In this case, it's 40%. And then at the bottom, we could type some notes. But now we've entered all the critical data for this particular hop variety, so all we have to do is click on the OK button. And now our hop has been added. If we go all the way down here, you can see that it's been added to Saxon. And in fact, if I wanted to, I could go over to My Recipes, create a new recipe, and I can actually use the new hop that I just added, the Saxon hop. You can see it shows up in the list now. And I can add that to my recipe. You can also enter new grains, malts, extracts, yeast, water profiles, and miscellaneous ingredients from their respective table views, just as we have with the hops here. For example, if I wanted to add a grain, I just go to Ingredients Grain, and then click on Add Grain. Thank you for watching this Beersmith video on custom ingredients. For more videos, as well as a trial version of Beersmith 2, please visit our website at beersmith.com.